Yeah. Yeah, we played really well. I think everyone contributed, uh, from the captain, myself, um, everyone that batted afterwards. We all uh, seemed to find the boundary at will, which is quite nice. And to get 150 on, on, on that wicket was, was needed. So it, it, it showed how good that wicket was, especially when TP was going at the end there. Um, so yeah, it got a bit closer than we'd have liked, but yeah, fantastic striking from him as well. T10 as a format in which, you know, form is not permanent and you got yourself getting seemingly like a beach ball today. Uh, getting a, then finally getting your team to a record score, the highest ever a score for a Zimafra T10, including the first edition. What, what, talk, us, talk us through what the process is of a T10 uh, is like. Yeah, it's quite tough. It's, uh, it's almost trying to train yourself for different things to what you're used to, especially in T20, you've always got a little bit more time. Um, but yeah, look, I, I feel like in T10, if you get the momentum right and you get a bit of a partnership going, it gets, becomes incredibly tough to, to stop. And um, you know, thankfully tonight we, we managed to target the right boundaries. The captain played fantastically well as well. He opened up different sides. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun game when you get it right. It's, it's tough when you don't get it right. Um, and it's a tough game to be consistent in as a batter. Uh, well, it's not, not easy for a bowler either, but it's, it's not easy for a batter when you're having to try and take risks every ball. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you can contribute to it, it's a there's some time because you've got so many few, so little few balls to work with. So whatever decision you, you, you make, you live or die by. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in a T20 there, when the off spinner was bowling to two left-handers, we'd probably have taken different options and probably take the game a little bit deeper and wait for someone else from the other end. And then you've got to take risks against him, which is probably not a favourable matchup. Um, so yeah, it, it makes you do things that you're not probably not used to. Um, but that's what's brilliant. It, it makes you grow your game and, and learn about your game and, and take different options, which. Sometimes you might not do. A bit of after, uh, afterwards, towards the end, a bit of the chirping. Is it because how close it could have been? Because a lot of people might have thought record score on the board, but you can't be getting that close. No, like I, I think T10, it, it takes one guy to have a fantastic innings like uh, to Sarah Pereira had there. He played unbelievably well, almost won the game for them. No, I think the chirping is just a bit of uh, light banter and uh, a bit of theatre. Um, I don't think David thought that was a wide, and uh, he took it out on TP a little bit, and then there was a little bit of. Uh, uh, you said this and you said that, which is quite good to watch and was good entertainment. But you know they're good mates off the field as well, and just see them give each other a hug. So um, and that's the way the, the spirit of the game should be played. And then also the players that you got the team and Marumani took the, took, took, took the gloves to go towards the end. And then you've also got the, the emerging players from you know places like uh, Sri Lanka and and, and West Indies. What do they bring into the, to the team? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, have, having the local guys here with the local knowledge, how the wicket's going to play. You know, I've, I've never played against Zimbabwe before, so I've never faced the, the, the local Zimbabwe bowlers. So to get the information from them, um, and it's good to see them get an opportunity as well and play. And that's what you want for, for these tournaments. You want to see the local players playing and, and bowling the tough overs, batting in the tough spots, and, and being able to grow the game. And um, you know, and, and if I can help in any way with that over the, the week that we're here, and, and they can take something from it, great. And if they there's nothing that they learn from me, that's absolutely fine. But if, if we can help with their development, then that's all you want. Final question, you got yourself in a good position to do well in the rest of the tournament, do you think? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, T10 is so hit and miss. The toss is important and, and, and how you get going. And uh, if someone bought a really good spell, like Gleason did in the first game, he changed the game and we were going really well and we lost that one. So it's, it's small, fine margins. But if we can keep playing as well as we have and keep putting scores on the board um, and bowling really well like we did in the last two games, we, we, we hopefully there after the playoffs or after the lockouts.